Hi, this is Don Bedell at r &I, Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm here to talk about uh, a lifter that we provide as far as an ergonomic lifter for a roll handling application. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the lifter and all the parts to the lifter. So the lifter is made up of seven parts. So you have a lift mass, which has a ball screw inside. You have an adjustable handlebar that goes up and down on the lift mast. You have your two button remote, which raises and lowers your tooling. Here's your power pack. Inside the power pack, we have two 12 volt batteries in the control card, and this is also removable. Uh, the section between the legs, we call that the intermediate section. On the back side here, we have what we call the central brake system, so it's a brake rod. So if you press it down, it locks the lifter in place. If you bring the lift the, up on a 45 degree angle, you have freewheeling of the lifter. If you bring it all the way back, then the back wheels directionally lock. By swinging it around to the front, you can see that we have low belt legs here, and we have different length legs depending on the application. As far as the tooling, we have what we call an expando turn. This is a core expander with a manual rotate from a vertical to a horizontal position. I'm going to swing around and talk about the rolls now, but you can see that the rolls are on what we call an aluminum pallet stand, which is this right here. We build this to the length and width of your wooden pallet, and we make the legs the size that will work for the legs that we build on the lifter. As you can see, there's a wooden pallet on top of there with two rolls, and this just helps us get the rolls up off the floor and allows us to get uh, our legs underneath when we come over to pick up the, uh, the rolls from the pallet without having to worry about bumping into the wooden pallet being on the floor. I'm going to grab the lifter now and I'm going to come back over and I'm going to pick these two rolls up and demonstrate how the tooling works. So the lifter is portable, it's uh, pushed by the operator. So the way it works is we're going to come over, we're going to, we're going to take our legs from underneath the pallet, we're going, to, we're going to take the expander and we're going to stick it into the core of the roll. Over here is our control box. We have one button to engage the expander and two buttons to disengage it. You'll see there's a little red light here. And when I press it, you'll see that the red light will come on to tell the operator that it has expanded on the core of the roll. So now I'm going to pick the roll up. I'm going to move the roll away from the pallet. I'm going to lower it just a little bit. I'm going to lock the lifter in place and I'm going to rotate the roll from a vertical to a horizontal position. So once you get in this position, you press the two buttons which then release the expander and you can take then the roll and push it from our expander onto the customer spindle. I'm going to take it back over again. I'm going to release the brake and I'm going to put it back on the pallet and I will go over and pick up the other roll in the same fashion. So I'm going to press two buttons now and you'll see that the red light will come on. And that releases the expander from the core. I'm going to use a two button remote to pull the expander out of the core. I'm going to take the lifter to the other side of the pallet. Legs will go underneath the pallet when I'm picking the roll up. Once again, the expander goes into the core of the roll. I'm going to press one button and I'm going to expand on the roll. The red light just came on. I'm going to pick the roll up off the pallet. I'm going to move it away from the pallet, lower it just a bit, lock the lifter in place. I'm going to grab the handle and rotate the roll from the vertical to the horizontal. And again, we would then release the expander and press the roll on or push the roll onto the, onto the spindle. I'm going to put the roll back in the vertical position again, release the brake on the lifter, come over, place the roll back on the pallet. Press the two buttons, which releases the expander from the core. Take the, take the expander out of the core, and now you're ready for your next operation.